Hey guys, it's Tina with Desist Dawdling again. Are you tired of me yet? Mm -hmm. Don't you love my hair today? I don't know. I, got, I had a whim and just decided to, to do a pigtail thing today. I don't know. I haven't done it in ages. Figured why not. And I may be in the same position for three videos in a row, but I have a dog head behind my butt. You can't see her. Yeah. Hold on. See? She is right behind my back and I can't even sit back because she's like right behind me and I'm squishing her brains as it is. Right, Remy? She's <laughs> lazy bones. Anyway, <laughs> you sit up a little bit now. <laughs> so this is video. Here she is. This is video nine for... Ethany's 31 days of tarot challenge um and day nine is or prompt nine is tarot goals of 2019 um I've mentioned a few times that probably more than enough times that I'm new to tarot and I'm doing a lot of training this year so it's going to be no surprise to anyone that to learn my goals for 2019 are to learn. Um, yeah. So that's the overall goal. The, you know, more detailed goal is to get through Tarot 101, get through 78 Days of Tarot, and then I want to move on to the Marseille and do the... Um, oh, what is it called? Tarot on Earth. By Tom Benjamin. Um, that's my tablet going off. But yeah, so, you know, the, that's basically it. I did write, like, mission statement. Because um, Tarot 101, part of it is having you write a mission statement. Or, you know, what do you hope to get out of Tarot? And I wrote, to learn to understand what the cards I draw are telling me. To learn to tell what the cards wish to show. Um, to learn to read cards intuitively. To gain confidence in my own intuition and reading the cards and what I see in them, in the symbolism. And um, to learn the Rider Waite Smith School of Tarot and then the leading into the Marseille School. So those are my goals for 2019. This is a super short video. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and go on to day 10. So day 10 is tarot decks you want to work with more in 2019. And that kind of ties into my goals. You know, um, my goals are to learn more tarot and to work with the Rider Waite Smith and the, um, the Marseille systems. So the decks that I want to use are in those two, um, what Kim Huggins... Kim Huggins, call schools. So Rider Waite Smith and um, Marseille. So my Rider Waite Smith is actually Charmin Caselli tarot deck, which I adore the artwork of. It's officially mixed up. I still can't stand the backs. It's like a hot pink, you guys. I so don't do pink, but but yeah. Um, I can do a you know a card review of this deck if you guys want. But I just, I adore the artwork in this deck. I'm, I can't click, I keep using that word, but it's the only one I can think of. I can't click with the original Rider Waite Smith artwork. I don't know why. Um, but this is just, I guess, uh, I've said before, more of a modern take on it. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I really love the artwork of these cards. You know, my only problem is it's missing numbers so i just noticed you know the the emperor so your majors have no numbers on there but also your court cards they have no numbers so i just need to be aware of the numbers that need to tie in so that's my right away smith deck that I'm going to be working with this year that I hope to really, you know, get to know and work with for 2019. The Marseille deck I want to work with, which I, I believe it's a Marseille deck, okay? Um, I could definitely be wrong. This is Tattoo Tarot by 
Mega Moonden. I'm trying to find because I thought there was another name in here. The artwork is by Mega Moonden. Mega Moonden, yeah. And the text is by Diana Collis. So, from my understanding, a Marseille deck is one that uses pip, pip cards. So here's the Five of Cups. So they use um, just the symbology. There's no real um, scenes shown. There's a Six of Swords. Um, but this deck, I want to learn a lot. This is just... I love this deck so much. It's beautiful. The artwork, the coloring, it's not overly bright in your face. Um, I just really like it. And I really hope that I'm able to, to learn it with help of um, the books that I'll be getting. So, um, again... Tarot one on one is the one I'm working with right now. Once I finish that, I'm going to move on to 78, 78 days around the tarot. And then I'm going to move on to tarot on earth. Um, and that's all dependent, dependent <laughs> on, you know, how I do with tarot one on one and 78 days around the tarot. I might have to revisit and dig into the Rider Waite Smith a little further before I can you know, jump into the tattoo tarot that I love. Um, but that's, that's what I want. I want to work with these two decks this year. So my Charmin Caselli tarot deck and my um, tattoo tarot ink and intuition. So those are my two decks. And that is day 10. And I am officially caught up, which means day 11, I should be wearing a different <laughs> shirt. <laughs> Hi, Freya. He's a Freya baby. And she is fully grown. She looks like a kitten, but Miss Freya is fully grown. Hi, babies. What's she doing? Hmm? She gets noisy sometimes. She'll yell at you and... She purrs. The, why is it that the little ones have the loudest motors? Anyway, squirrel moment. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks again, guys, for sticking with me, for watching the video. So this was days 9 and 10 of 31 Days of Tarot. And I can't wait to keep going with it and see what days 11 and so on have for us. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a blessed, wonderful day, and hopefully I will see you on your own channels soon. Have a good one, guys. Bye.